Former Jewish school principal Malka Leifer is being extradited to Australia now, bringing an end to a years-long battle and a beginning to a new one. Thirteen years have passed since former Haredi school principal Malka Leifer allegedly fled to Israel from Australia, where she faces 74 charges of child sexual abuse. And it's been six years since her initial arrest in Israel and attempts to return her to Australia for trial began. But with all of her appeals exhausted, Leifer's extradition has finally come, much to the applause of the alleged victims and activist groups behind them. Today's extradition of Marka Leifer uh, back to Australia to face justice is an incredible day for justice. It's incredible for the three alleged victims. Um, for many, many years, it's been a prolonged process with many obstacles they've been facing. But ultimately today, we're seeing belatedly the right decision has been made and the State of Israel has finally extradited Marka Leifer back to Australia. Wax adding that he hopes Australian authorities will similarly throw the book at anyone who helped Leifer escape to Israel in the first place. Leifer's defense counsel, on the other hand, accusing the media of failing to give his client her fair shake in the court of public opinion. I can indeed confirm that the process of international transfer has commenced. The Israeli authorities were expected to ensure the secrecy of the transfer operation and to ensure maximum respect for Mrs. Leifer's dignity until she left Israeli jurisdiction. This clearly didn't happen given the fact that photographs of her being led in handcuffs and leg cuffs were leaked to the press. Now, accusations of Leifer's alleged abuses began in 2008 when Leifer was still employed as an ultra-Orthodox school principal and teacher in Australia. It was at this time that the Israeli-born Leifer then moved back to the Jewish state. Only four years later, in 2012, was an Australian arrest warrant issued. And in 2014, an extradition order was given and Leifer was put under Israeli house arrest. But in 2016, a district psychiatrist ruled her unfit for trial, and extradition was indefinitely stalled. It wasn't until 2017 that the work of a private investigator found her functioning independently, leading to the overturning of her faked mental illness excuse. Her trial in Australia, not quite yet scheduled, though. Upon arrival in Australia, Mrs. Leifer will be quarantined and will appear by video conference before a judge, who presumably will formally confirm her identity and read her the charges. We hope that she will be held in a place of detention which will respect her religious beliefs and allow her contact with her lawyers and family on a regular basis. Given the coronavirus-related restrictions affecting all aspects of Australian society, I don't expect that a trial will take place this year. All right, joining us now with more about what's to come in the Maka Lifer case is Manny Wax, CEO of the Voice CSA, or Voice Against Child Sexual Abuse Organization. Manny, thank you so much for being with us. Now, where does the trial sit as of now? What comes next? Well, firstly, it's been around 75 hearings uh, here in Israel over the last uh, seven odd years, and I've attended most of them. So it's an incredible day for justice in that uh, finally Malka Leifa has been extradited to Australia. Uh, in terms of next steps, obviously with uh, COVID-19 restrictions, it's a little bit complicated at the moment. Uh, but generally what happens is that uh, she will be offered a defence attorney, a lawyer in Australia, it could be a public defence person, or if she has the means to get uh, private um, legal advice, legal, uh, legal team, then obviously she's entitled to do that. Then typically we have a, a committal hearing, which what that essentially means is the opportunity to have a look at the evidence that exists. And what the prosecution has is 74 charges against Mark Leifer in relation to three complainants, the three courageous sisters, Nicole, Dussy and Ellie. And those 74 charges include charges of rape, which means... Uh, we're talking about a female school principal against three female um, students, former students. So uh, digital penetration is considered rape. Um, obviously, there could be a plea deal along the way. Um, so it's important to recognise that while it's been many years to getting to this point, we've only really gotten to where the commencement of the legal proceedings against Mark Khalifa are about to commence because until now it has been all about the extradition. Well, so, you know, speaking of the extradition, can her time, can Malka's time in Israel, the last 13 years, including the uh, now refuted, falsified claims of her mental incapacity for trial, can any of that be held against her in the arguments at trial in Australia, or is that irrelevant? 
I have no doubt that Marka Leifer will try to uh, bring into play any possible um, issue that will uh, allow her to evade justice and um, ultimately perhaps if she is found guilty or when she's found guilty to um, reduce her sentence. Um, the reality is it has all been tested in courts over here. Any tricks that she may try, I expect that the Australian authorities will deal with it strongly and won't really um, be interested in facilitating Marka Leifer's years of charade where she has been able to um, so easily um, deal with over here. So I don't think, I think we'll see a completely different um, judicial process. Uh, the courts in Australia, from my experience, uh, are much more serious from the perspective of the way the professionalism, the way things are run by the court system. So I do expect that it will be a, a, a judicial process many of us, certainly in Australia, are, are accustomed to. Um, we don't know how long this entire process is going to take, especially because of the COVID-19 issues. I also expect that the Australian authorities will try to expedite this process due to the fact that it's already been um, been going on for many, many years. And let's not forget, she was helped in 20, 2008 to evade justice uh, by the Adas Israel leadership, her former school, and uh, there are many other things that still need to happen. All right. Manny Wax, thank you so much for, for giving us some insight into the what's Thank going you on. very much for having me.